The shooting of Rayshard Brooks took place at the Wendy's on University Avenue in Southeast Atlanta near I-75. The historic South Atlanta neighborhood sits only a short drive to the south of the restaurant. So Joe Henke talked with a community leader about the relationship between her neighborhood and Atlanta police. Waisha well, Jonesboro Road behind me is the main road cutting through the historic South Atlanta neighborhood and the community leader I talked with today says her residents. They want to see police more often in the community. We only noticed a few police officers out here today. She wants those police officers engaging with the community more often. Well before anyone needs to call 911. From the now burned Wendy's restaurant where the Rayshard Brooks shooting took place. The historic South Atlanta neighborhood sits a half mile away. It was just very disheartening and, and very scary for it to happen so close to our home. Kimberly Jones is the president of the South Atlantic Civic League, the area's neighborhood association. As one police officer watched protesters outside the Wendy's this afternoon, Jones says the shooting of Brooks is not reflective of policing in her neighborhood, but a part of Atlanta with few businesses open late at night. Sometimes you come by there late at night and the line is wrapped around the corner. So you have a lot of people who live in this neighborhood, adjacent neighborhoods and other areas in the city, maybe on the south side. It's a convenient place to stop. So I don't know that that incident reflects the policing in the neighborhood. Jones says Atlanta police supervisors for zone three are quick to respond to community concerns when she reaches out and she knows many of them personally. She calls the relationship between police and this community positive, but admits changes are needed, especially along Jonesboro Road where people often zip through the neighborhood. People want to see the police do more things like manage the traffic and, and manage with people speeding as opposed to harassing people over quality of life issues. So let's get to some of the other issues that do negatively impact our quality of life, like people speeding through our neighborhoods and running stop signs. Jones says her neighborhood also wants to increase engagement with police, perhaps through the return of a pass program or officers bike through the area. They can see more, they can talk to people, and I think that that raises community engagement where you start to feel like the police officers are a part of the community. Well, Jones told me she does not believe the shooting of Rayshard Brooks speaks to policing in her community. She does believe it speaks to the need overall to reform police in Atlanta and beyond and finding ways during encounters between police in the community to resolve issues without turning to arrest. Aisha. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. It is an issue we will be following for quite some time to come. That reoccurring theme of community engagement.